In the world of military aviation, the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor has long been considered the pinnacle of air superiority fighters. Designed during the Cold War and introduced into service in 2005, the F-22 combines stealth, speed, agility, and situational awareness in ways that were unprecedented at the time. But as we move deeper into the 21st century, the question arises, could the F-22 be upgraded to meet the demands of modern warfare? Or is it destined to be overtaken by newer, more advanced platforms like the F-35 or the upcoming sixth generation fighters? This video explores the potential for modernizing the F-22's capabilities to ensure its relevance in future warfare. To understand the potential for upgrading the F-22, we need to look at its original design philosophy and its current limitations. The F-22 was conceived in an era when the primary threat was Soviet aircraft and air defense systems. As such, it was built to dominate in a peer-to-peer -peer conflict with advanced enemy fighters, and it still excels in that role. It features an extremely low radar cross-section, super cruise capabilities, the ability to fly at supersonic speeds without using afterburners, and thrust vectoring engines that give it superior maneuverability. Its radar, the AN-APG-77, was cutting edge at the time of its deployment and still remains one of the most powerful ASA radars in the world. The F-22 Raptor primarily relies on internal weapon bays for carrying its arsenal. In air-to-air -air combat, it can carry AIM-9X Sidewinder and AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, along with an internal M61A2 20mm cannon. For air-to-ground missions, it can carry 1,000-pound GBU-32 JDAMs or small-diameter bombs SDBs. The F-22 can also carry external weapons, such as four AM-120 missiles on pylons, although this is not a common configuration. The fifth-generation F-22's unique combination of stealth, speed, agility, and situational awareness, combined with lethal long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground weaponry, makes it the best air dominance fighter in the world. However, there are clear areas where the F-22 shows its age. For instance, its cockpit interface and computing power, while advanced in the early 2000s, lag behind those found in newer platforms like the F-35. The F-22 also lacks the kind of sensor fusion capabilities that make the F-35 so effective in gathering and disseminating battlefield intelligence. Moreover, the Raptor was built with a proprietary architecture, meaning its software and hardware systems are harder to upgrade compared to more modular systems like those in the F-35. One of the major constraints facing the F-22 is its relatively small fleet size. Only 187 operational Raptors were produced before the program was prematurely canceled in 2009 due to budgetary constraints and shifting defense priorities. A small fleet means higher per unit maintenance costs and more difficulty justifying expensive upgrade programs. The US Air Force has long struggled with maintaining the aging fleet, especially as some parts are no longer in production. A 2021 Government Accountability Office report noted that the F-22 had the highest maintenance man-hours per flying hour among all U.S. fighters, making it increasingly burdensome to keep mission ready. Yet despite these challenges, there is still a compelling case to be made for upgrading the F-22. In fact, several upgrade programs are already underway. In 2022, the U.S. Air Force announced plans for a significant modernization effort known as the F-22 Tactical Mandates Program. This includes enhancements to the Raptor's sensors, avionics, and weapon systems. One of the key upgrades involves integrating the AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, a next-generation beyond-visual-range missile that will outclass current air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-120 AMRAAM. According to the U.S. Air Force's fiscal year 2024 budget documents, the AIM-260 will provide longer range and better survivability against electronic countermeasures. 
making the raptor deadlier in contested airspace. Another critical area of modernization is sensor fusion and communication. The F-22's existing data links are not compatible with many of the newer aircraft in the U.S. arsenal, including the F-35. This lack of interoperability creates problems in joint operations. However, Lockheed Martin and the Air Force are working on integrating advanced communication systems like the Open Mission Systems OMS, architecture and secure multifunction data links MADL and IFDL. These improvements will allow the Raptor to function more effectively in a networked battle space, sharing data in real time with other platforms, drones, and command centers. The Cockpit 2 is being reimagined. The F-22's legacy displays and controls are slated for replacement with modern touchscreens and improved human-machine interfaces, similar to those found in the F-35. This will not only reduce pilot workload, but also make it easier to train and transition pilots across different platforms. Additionally, advances in helmet-mounted displays, such as the Scorpion HMCS helmet-mounted queuing system, could be integrated to allow for better target tracking and missile queuing, which is something the original F-22 lacked. Perhaps the most intriguing possibility for upgrading the F-22 lies in the use of artificial intelligence and autonomous systems. Recent developments in AI have shown promising results in enhancing pilot decision-making, threat recognition, and even autonomous flight. In 2020, DARPA's Alpha Dogfight trials demonstrated that an AI system could defeat a human pilot in simulated aerial combat. Integrating AI as a co-pilot or decision support system could give F-22 pilots a critical edge in complex missions where reaction times are crucial. Though this kind of upgrade remains speculative, the potential is enormous. Stealth technology is another area where improvements could be made. While the F-22 remains one of the most stealthy aircraft ever built, adversaries like China and Russia have made advances in radar technology, especially low-frequency and multi-static radar systems that are better at detecting stealth aircraft. Retrofitting the F-22 with advanced radar absorbent materials, improved surface coatings, and shaping adjustments could preserve its low observability into the future. A significant challenge, however, lies in the airframe itself. The F-22 was built using manufacturing techniques and materials from the 1990s and early 2000s. Upgrading structural components or integrating new technologies often requires redesigning sections of the aircraft, which can be prohibitively expensive and logistically complex. Moreover, some of the tooling used to manufacture the F-22 was destroyed after the program ended, making full-scale production or deep structural modernization much more difficult. This was confirmed in a 2017 report by the Air Force, which concluded that restarting F-22 production would cost approximately $50 billion for just 194 new aircraft, a price tag considered unjustifiable at the time. To counter this, some experts have proposed a hybrid solution, heavily upgrading existing F-22s while using their technology base to accelerate the development of next-generation fighters, such as those being developed under the Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance Program. NGAD is expected to produce a family of systems, including a manned sixth-generation fighter that will eventually replace both the F-22 and possibly the F-15EX. It is being designed with open architecture in mind, allowing for easier upgrades and integration of emerging technologies like AI, directed energy weapons, and advanced stealth. Still, proponents of the F-22 argue that it remains unmatched in certain areas, particularly in short-range dogfighting and high-speed interception. The aircraft's supercruisability and unmatched thrust-to-weight ratio make it ideal for air superiority missions that require speed and agility.
International interest in the Raptor also suggests that its capabilities are still highly valued. Countries like Japan have expressed interest in a next-generation fighter that combines elements of the F-22 and F-35, a concept sometimes referred to as the F-22-F-35 hybrid. While U.S. export laws currently prevent the sale of the F-22 to foreign nations, the demand signals that there's room in the market for a modernized air superiority fighter with the Raptor's DNA. There's also the psychological and geopolitical factor to consider. The presence of the F-22 in combat theaters such as Syria has already served as a deterrent to adversaries, demonstrating that the U.S. retains unmatched air dominance. A visibly upgraded F-22 fleet could reinforce that message, deterring aggression from near-peer rivals who are rapidly developing their own fifth-generation fighters like China's J-20 and Russia's Su-57. In conclusion, while the F-22 Raptor may be aging, it is far from obsolete. With targeted upgrades in sensors, communication systems, cockpit interfaces, weapons, and potentially AI, the Raptor could remain a potent force well into the 2030s and beyond. The costs and logistical hurdles are significant, but the payoff, continued air superiority in an increasingly contested environment, could be well worth it. As the Air Force balances its investments between legacy systems and future platforms like NGAD, the F-22 remains a critical bridge, a symbol of American air dominance that, with the right upgrades, can continue to dominate the skies in the age of modern warfare. Thanks for watching.